Hello Scorpio and welcome to this little corner of the internet that is Wild Fox Alchemy. If we haven't met before, my name is Maria Guyon and I am an intuitive business success coach and tarot card reader amongst other things. If you're coming back, welcome back. I'm here to do your weekly reading for October the 25th to the 31st. Are you all set for Halloween? Do you have kids? Are they all going crazy for sweets and dressing up? Mine certainly are. So let's get on with things. We start with Swan Spirit. Time for a deep dive. This is such a beautiful card. Is it time for you to start taking a closer look at what is going on in your business? I'm going to read from a book on this one actually because I can't do any better than Colette Baron Reed. The message is beautiful and I don't want you to miss anything about this message. It says, with their graceful long necks, swans are able to reach into the depths. When swan spirit arrives, you are called to take a deep dive beyond what is easily available on the surface. You may think you know what is best for you now, but take the plunge into the depths of your awareness, for there is knowledge that you are not aware of and great treasures to discover. Deeper understanding awaits you and a perspective that comes from greater self-knowledge is what you need right now to better understand a situation or relationship. As you come to know yourself more intimately, so too will you come to better know others. So Swan Spirit asks you to go beyond the surface of what is happening between you and others and resist the temptation to judge by superficial appearances. Know there is much deeper potential for loving connections, forgiveness and mutual understanding. Choose to dive deep into your why. Asking the deeper questions of yourself, you are led by the grace of Swan Spirit. So this is a deep dive that Spirit is calling you to make into your own inner knowing and your own intuition. What is it that you are perhaps missing? What is it that you're judging by appearances? What is it that you think is happening that could possibly have a deeper meaning? Because there's something there you need to dig deeper. There is something that is bigger and better beyond the surface. I like this, this sentence about understanding your why. Why you do what it is you do. Why are you running the business that you're running? Why, why are you creating the things that you create? What is it for? What does it do for you and what does it do for others? And don't worry if it's just, you know, you sort of think to yourself, well, it's got no real deeper meaning. I create what I create because it makes me happy to do it or it's what I'm trained to do or whatever. There can be deeper meaning in that. You could create art. Well, you might think that that's not really very useful to the planet. But of course it is. Of course it is. Look at the artwork on this card. When I look at this card, it makes me feel nice. I take pleasure in it. I appreciate the work that somebody went into to create it. It's beautiful. That brings pleasure. It brings an energetic vibe into the world. So don't undervalue whatever it is that you do. You might be thinking, well, my why is just rubbish. It could be that your why is just because you want to make some money. Well, there's nothing wrong with that why. Not at all. But just why? Why do you need money? Is it because you want to support your family or is it, you know, you know, or maybe get out of a hole? Or is it something more than that? Is it freedom that you seek? Let's see what the rest of this reading says. Where you need to focus your energies on the three of crystals, collaboration and productivity. Your strengths this week are the four of acorns, comfort and community. Possible blockages, the ace of acorns, creative force and confidence. And the outcome is the king of acorns, optimism and innovation. He came out in the last reading, but in the, the energy position. I love him so much. He's one of my favourite cards. These cards always seem wonky, don't they? Have you noticed in these videos? I can never get them right. They always look like they're wonky donkey. So we start with this three of crystals where you need to focus your energy. This is all about collaboration, productivity. It's about planning things. It's about growth and skills and learning. Is there anything that you need help with in your business? Is there something where you're sitting there struggling alone and you're thinking, I don't know how to get this done. I'm not being very productive. 
I'm procrastinating, I'm staring into space, I'm doing absolutely anything rather than create what it is that I need to create. Is it time for you to call some help in there, Scorpio? Is it that you need a coach, an accountability body, somebody, a friend of yours or, or a colleague that does similar work to you that you can call on to give you a, a phone call or a text message every day and go, come on, are you doing the thing? Are you getting this thing done? Are there any new skills that you need to learn from somebody else? Is there something that would enhance your productivity, but you're not entirely sure how to do it? So you need somebody to guide you. Or is it that you need somebody to do that work for you? It could be that you need help with your marketing. Maybe you're you're doing great at the productivity stuff and, and you're getting things made and done, but maybe you need some help to get those things out into the market to get people to understand that they're there. So it could be that you need an assistant. It could be that you need a supporter. It could be that you need a mentor or a coach to help you get over whatever it is that is holding you back from moving forward. It could be that you're not held back at all, but you just need to go a bit faster. And you know that with some collaboration with somebody else, you would move forward a lot quicker. Don't forget, this is a crystals card. This is about physical things and material things that you can touch. This is about your money. So collaboration could bring you more money. And I know that you get to a certain stage in business where you can think this is a real tough call because I know I need to do more, but I know I can't do it by myself. I need help. But at this point, you might not be earning enough to bring that help in. And that could be stopping you from thinking, mm, I'll just go ahead and get a VA or a marketing person or, you know, somebody to help me. It could be stopping you. Well, just don't let it stop you. Sometimes all you need to do is tighten your belt a little bit and the growth that having some help will bring you will be well worth it. Strengths. We've got the four of acorns, comfort and community. This is about prosperity and achievements, actually. But it's a lot about exploration. This is This is very much linked, I believe, to this Three of Crystals with the collaboration because the Four of Acorns is all about community. It can be you moving in a new direction with support of other people. It can be you being able to celebrate achievements with other people, the people that have been the wind beneath your wings, if you like. What I'm being told here is that community spirit is vitally important and if you are struggling, you need to go and find people that, are, that understand you that understand the journey that you're on so that they can support you. You can get it off your chest because I know, especially in my business, people don't understand what I do. You know, <laughs> I, I read these cards and then I'll go, I'll go inside and I'll go, oh, I'm so tired and I can't explain the tiredness that I feel because it's not a physical tiredness. It's not an emotional tiredness. It's kind of like a psychic tiredness. And only another person who does this work would really understand what I mean when I say, you know, how I'm tired or the certain things that occur when I'm creating these readings or, you know, there's there's just things where only another person who does what I do would understand and could help me move forward. And I do believe that this is telling you, you need some community. I think maybe you do something that is quite solitary and it's time for you to look at at finding some assistance, finding some cheerleaders, some people that are really ready and waiting to to receive what it is you have and that are, are, are willing to just cheer you on every time you're feeling like you just want to give up. Blockages, obstacles. It's the Ace of Acorns. I hate seeing the Ace of Acorns in this position, to be honest, because it makes me feel a bit sad. This is about you blocking creative force. Blocking creative force through either a lack of confidence or a lack of taking action. There is inspiration inside of you in bucket loads. You are creative, but you are blocking it inadvertently. You could be doing it consciously. You could be doing it subconsciously. There is something going on with you that is stopping you pushing that creative force to its limit and getting the prosperity and the abundance that is due to you through it. All right. Now, again, I feel like this is kind of a solitary, a solitary thing. You need some assistance. You need some people around you to boost you. It could be that you just find somebody who's in the same boat as you. 
and you motivate each other. Find a mastermind group of people that can motivate each other. Maybe you can just find a Facebook group where you can chat with others and go, right, what are we going to do today? And really be accountable with each other and get this moving forward. The outcome is the King of Acorns, which is just the perfect card. I love it for business. This is a charismatic person, a visionary person, an entrepreneurial person, a person who brings people together. Again, we've got this community thing going on. Spirit is saying to me, you need to build a community of people that want what it is that your business is all about. And I know that you're probably thinking, oh, my God, as if I haven't got enough to do, as if I have not got enough to do. But what I found is that if there's something that I want to offer and I'm doing a bit of faffing or I lack a bit of confidence in it or I'm feeling some fear, setting a deadline and telling people can do wonders because you end up saying to those people, I'm going to release this product or service. I'm going to do this work. I'm going to do it on this day. And you get them fired up and they get fired up. And the last thing you want to do is let them down. So you get on and do it. You push yourself to finish. And I think sometimes if you don't have that deadline, it, we can have a tendency to just keep faffing. Keep procrastinating. Keep trying to be a perfectionist and changing everything every other day because it's not quite perfect enough you get a tribe of people who know that you are going to release your product or service on a specific date and they're all waiting and they're all counting it down and they're all getting very excited and enthusiastic that turns it into a whole new ball game scorpio doesn't it <laughs> but it takes some balls to do that i have to admit there are things that I have sold previously where I have put the details out there, a pre-launch detail, without having actually built anything. And it's only when I've seen whether people are willing to jump on board with me that I've you know, decided whether it was worth pressing forward on. But it can be a scary moment thinking that you've got people signing up for something that you haven't actually finished yet. But it does make you get off your backside and get stuff done, I'll tell you. Nothing fires you up like knowing people are waiting for your stuff and that you are no longer in charge of your deadline, but you have given a deadline to other people and they know and it's public. <laughs> so I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here this week that is about you collaborating with community, creating a community, attracting your tribe, really drawing people in. It could be that you give a preliminary piece of whatever it is that you're working on out just to, to tease people a little bit, just to tease people and get them on board. I don't know. I leave that up to you. I think, you know, it's time for you to take a deep dive into what you're doing, why you're doing it, why, what you need to do to move forward. And I feel like other people are very important to you this week, Scorpio that you know really getting their support attracting a tribe of people that are ready and waiting for what it is that you do attracting a tribe of people that believe in what it is that you do is really important and don't worry about whether you are charismatic enough to draw people because <laughs> you are you really are so i'm gonna leave that there scorpio i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did please do like subscribe and share it with anybody that you think might be interested and I will see you again next week. Have a fantastic week, Scorpio. This is Maria Guyant signing out with love and magic always.